My name is Jenny McDaniel, and I am the Games Coordinator and Athletic Director for the Alaska Scottish Highland Games. My phone number is 602-359-4893, and my email is ashgcoordinator at gmail.com. Okay, so give us a little bit of background on yourself as it relates to the Highland Games. So I started throwing about six years ago, and then three years ago I took over as the Athletic Director for the Scottish Highland Games in Alaska. And then last year was my first year taking over as games coordinator for the games. Um, so I kind of have a dual role up there. Um, and then I also got certified as an athletic judge uh, this past year also. Okay. And so <clears throat> tell us a little bit about your background as an athlete. Um, so yeah, I started, like I said, I started through about six years ago and I absolutely love it. I wish I would have found it earlier in life, um, but I have a blast with it. Um, I've done some traveling to the lower 48, as we call it in Alaska, um, and it's, I love going to different games and just seeing all the different things that different festivals have to offer, and then of course meeting all the athletes from around the country is really great, and hopefully pushing a lot of them to come up to Alaska and throw, because it's quite a fun game. Okay. So, successes as an athlete? Um, you know, I'm pretty average thrower. I, I just enjoy it. Um, I had the opportunity to throw in Pleasanton, which was probably one of the best experiences of my throwing career <laughs> um, but yeah I just throw wherever I can and have fun doing it and love learning from other people and um, it's absolutely blessed. Okay so what what inspired you to take on um, a bigger role other than being the athlete? Um, I'm pretty I'm someone that likes to do organizational type things anyways um, and our athletic director in Alaska was stepping down after 35 years and um, his name's Tim Kincaid and um, you know, I decided to start helping out and I just realized that there was a role there that I could help out with um, and filled it, loved it. Um, and, you know, the taking over <laughs> games as the games coordinator kind of just happened by um, just chance. Um, the people that were running it stepped down and I said, I'll fill in until there's someone else and there just hasn't been someone else yet. <laughs> but I actually enjoy it. Um, like I said, last year was my first year taking over and we had an absolutely amazing game last year and we're on track to having even better games this year. Okay, yeah. so mentors. As an athlete, let's start with that first. Who um, are some of your mentors? You know, Heather McDonald was the first professional uh, elite woman thrower that I met and she was absolutely so helpful in my first games. Uh, Denise Ryan is someone else that I really uh, admire and she's helped me out a lot and Karen Dallimore, she's helped me out a lot also. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, from your perspective, what are some of the major differences between the, the lower 48 state games and your game? Or different, the different ways um, the states are handling the same? You know, it's amazing how, how many games, I mean, really most of the games have the same type of stuff. Um, obviously our games has a glacier and mountains in the background. <laughs> so, Wait until you get to yeah. this park. <laughs> <laughs> so I do like our scenery a lot. Um, but overall, I'd say that, you know, most games kind of have the same thing and, and it's fun, like I said, to go to other games and see what's going on and bring some of those ideas back. We've actually decided to add the sheaf throw this year. We've never had it at our games. Um, so we're introducing it this year and I threw at the Bitterroot games uh, last, um, uh, yeah, last summer and in their games, they have all their different athletic events are spread out throughout the festival. And so we're actually going to take the sheaf and put it in the festival grounds. Um, and kind of take on that idea. You know, our, our space is limited in Alaska, and so for our athletics to keep growing, we're gonna have to do stuff like that. So that was one of the ideas that I really enjoyed, and I think it's gonna be a huge hit up there, having, kind of bringing the festival together with having the athletics throughout the game, the festival Oh, okay, rounds. okay. Yeah. All right, and so tell us about the, so you've got two big games in Alaska? Yeah, so we have two games in Alaska. Um, the Alaska Scottish Highland Games is held in Palmer, Alaska at our state fair grounds. And that's always the last Saturday of June. This year it falls on June 29th. And then the weekend following, we have a smaller games in Homer, Alaska. And if you're if you're someone that's wanting to come up to Alaska, I would definitely suggest coming for the full week and doing both games. They're both a blast and they're both very different. You know, the Palmer Games is a very big festival. It fills up our fairgrounds area. It's a lot of fun. The Homer Games is smaller and it's more like a backyard games. It's kind of fun. Um, the field's in kind of a retainage area and the crowd sits above, so it really feels like you're just out having fun with your buds uh, throwing, which is a blast. And okay. of course, it's got the Ketchumak Bay background, which is also beautiful, so. Okay, so I've asked this of everybody and, it's, and I'm thrilled by the different answers I get. 
So, what would you say to a new person that walked up to one of your games in Alaska that was interested in becoming a thrower? What would you say to I would that say do it. And, and, you know, obviously as athletic director, I get that question all the time. How do I start? What do I do? Just do it. Um, my first games, I, we have a throwing clinic that normally happens the weekend before our games. And I did the throwing clinic and I was hooked. I wanted to throw. And I think especially with our beginner groups in the games, and really all the groups, everyone is so helpful. Just do it. You won't regret it at all. It's, I've never felt intimidated by anyone. Everyone is so helpful and it's just, just do it. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. And so what would you say um, as a, a coordinator of, of events, I'm sure you run into this, but what would you say if you had a group of current athletes and they were asking you for your advice uh, on how to, to be more successful in the games, how to be better athletes, um, how to be better participants within the game? What would you, you know, say? I would say travel, go to other games, see what other games do, and don't be afraid to interact with the crowd. Um, you know, as, as an athlete, sometimes it's intimidating because you've got all these people watching, but they're as excited as you are, and they want to know what you're doing. Um, you know, the game series is really great because they have some banners that tell you a little bit about the history of the games, but go into the crowd, let them hold the weight and see how heavy it is. Let them touch it, let them see what it's about, and they get excited too, so if they're cheering you on, go high five them. Just get involved and go to as many games as you can because you'll learn a little bit about every games. You know, every games is a little bit different, and you'll also meet a lot of athletes, and you never know who you meet. Some of your best friends end up being part of your Highland family community. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's put you in a position where you're with other ADs and other game organizers. So, what are the things that are most important to you? that you would share or that you would want information from others who are also in that same position as putting the events together and and working towards making it the best experience that you can for everyone. So what are some of the things that you would want to talk about in a group of your peers as far as um, organizing events? I would just say, you know, what do you do different than my games? What, you know, what brings your crowds to the games? What, what do people want to see? What do people want to do? And I would really say don't be afraid to try something new. If it doesn't work, you won't do it the next year. And if it works, you have something that's a tradition now. And that's something that when I took over, I think, um, you know, obviously we had great foundation from people that had been doing it for 30 plus years. And But it was fun to kind of take over and think, okay, well, let's, let's try some of this. And, you know, some of the ideas they had tried in the past maybe didn't work back then, but they're working now. And, yeah, I would just say don't be afraid to try something new. Um, one thing we added was a genealogy lecture last year, and it was amazing. It was we did, it was a free event, um, but and we set up 200 chairs, and we ended up having a standing room open. I mean, it was flooded with people, and it was something we had never done before. And we tried it; it worked. We're going to keep doing it. So I would just continue to feed off of other people's ideas and go with it that way. Okay. Yeah. So what's next? Well, um, I'm in full planning mode for our games in June, uh, so I'm headed back to Alaska tomorrow, and it will be full full plan, um, keep going. I have a great team of volunteers, and we do a great job. I mean, we work as a team, and we get everything done, and we're hoping for another great year in Alaska. Okay. Yeah. And so, final words. If you've never experienced the Scottish games and you want to get into it, just do it. It's Excellent. the most fun that you'll ever have. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.